I've got a list on the phone, so I'm not very good at remembering all these things. But this place belongs to Jonathan Sands. And Jonathan, where are you? I'm here. <laughs> he is the most amazing, amazing young man. I've known him since he was a little boy. And he is my <laughs> since she was a little girl as well. Anyway, thank you so much for letting us have this space and all the help that you've done. You have been a real gem. Marvellous. And it's for such a lovely cause for these young people that are exhibiting tonight from the um, Islington Arts Factory. Tomorrow evening, there's going to be an evening here just for them um, and their parents, and um, we're going to give out an award to each child because I don't want to make them feel different. I think, you know, I don't like that feeling when there's just one person wins. So they're all going to get an award, and that's tomorrow. So when this bust is finished, it's going to get wrapped up, left here, and it will be on show tomorrow night. And now, Sir Derek Jacobi, I want to thank you. You are such a lovely man. I don't need my notes for that. You're so good. <laughs> we first met three years ago, didn't we? We did indeed, about three, four years. Yes. And we were going to put an event together then, um, and it didn't quite take off then, but we are so pleased to be doing this now. And you're such a lovely person. So, And thank you for giving your time. Very special man. Great Thank you. Man. You were so lovely. So lovely yeah. to me. Were you married to me? Are you serious? <laughs> Jack. Um, Eleanor. Eleanor. Where's Eleanor? Hi. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Eleanor runs the Islington Arts Factory, the children's part, the art part. And um, I've only met her recently, but you were so lovely. And then I was whisked away on holidays, so I didn't get to know you too well, but you've done a fabulous job. And the paintings are fabulous, and that is amazing. They're all amazing. And next time we do it, we'll have a lot more, because we didn't quite know how much space we're going to have. But I think tomorrow's going to be fantastic. Thanks. Um, Camilla, the harpist. Hi, Camilla. It's beautiful. When it started, it was just dreaming. And it actually made my sitter fall asleep. <laughs> 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 thing, but he really loved that music. And it was really beautiful. It really made a difference. Thank you very, very much. Okay, Simon. Yeah. Don't hide. Simon Tarrant is, he is so special, fabulous man. I've been working with him for about six months, maybe longer. He's very short time, but he's so lovely. Um, he is helping me with PR. He is brilliant and lovely to work with. And I don't know how I ever manage without him. And he's like a best friend. So thank you very much, Simon. Eric Moomin, Mr. Professor Eric Moomin. Um, I don't know where you are, but I'd like to thank you because you've helped me so much throughout my career, guided me through it, and um, really has helped me tremendously all the way through it's been a fantastic, fantastic support and help. And Kamal, my PA, has helped put this evening together. She's here somewhere, I think. Anyway, thank you, Kamal, for your work. And Georgie's catering. Thank you very much, Georgie, wherever you are. Mm -hmm. Catering is fantastic and the best in London. We love oh, all the food, always. Yeah. And um, Rebecca, um, I don't know where Rebecca is. Rebecca has helped put this event together. She works here. And the team of people that have helped, they've done so much that people can't tell, you know, you can't see all the work they've done. There's going to be loads of work to make it all work well. Um, and last but not least, Jack Petchy, who's over there. Jack is here, sitting down. And that's the bus over there. There he is. <laughs> anyway, um, Jack has been very, very positive guidance throughout my career and throughout my life with him as anybody that knows him, it's all about positive thinking. I'm in, literally in school all day and night there. It's a non-stop school of never, ever, ever being able to utter a word that's negative. So I walk around trying to do all this under my breath sometimes. I have a little bit of a swearing session, it all goes under my breath. Because when you really want to say something negative and you're not allowed to, Oh, you could get mad sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> then he's right, you know, because 
you just can't create without it. And that's what happens here. I cannot do these two art sculptures unless I'm doing positive thinking all the way through. When I don't, when I'm not positive, it's not going well. When I'm positive, it goes brilliantly. And I have to have nearly every thought positive while I'm doing the two art sculpture. That's why I like to do it all the time. I can't believe I can do it. It's positive thinking all the way through. And that's what I want to teach young people. So um, that's it. Thank you, everybody. Okay, so we're going to do something a bit unusual here. This wasn't scheduled, but, but um, Francis is going to answer a few questions from the BBC in front of everybody. So I thought it might be interesting for all of us to, to hear some of the, uh, the questions that they're going to ask. So just it will be two minutes of that, and then Francis will resume the sculpture. So they're just here. Yeah, just... I guess I should let you all know it. We're from BBC London, and we have our fellow colleagues here from BBC Knowledge, and we're doing a profile for us on France, which we hopefully will be out in the next two weeks. We want to go back to their studio and do a bit more filming there, so I can't give you a distinctive date of when it's going to appear, but I'm sure Francis will let you all know. This is a rather novel experience for myself, but we'll make it happen and make it work. <laughs> Very good. So high, probably.